The favourable weather means a healthy hop harvest is expected, and a local variety of hop has been revived. In fact, the Hogsback Brewery are now the only growers of it in the world. Well, James Ingham can tell us more. He's amongst the hops for us this lunchtime. James. Yes, Laura, these unusual, very tall plants are hops, a key ingredient in beer, this. They provide essential aromas and flavours, and also that bitterness that you get from beer. And here at the Hogsback Brewery, they're now growing their own. These are the hops, a unique variety that they've brought back from almost from the dead. And Rupert Thompson is the owner of this brewery. Rupert, tell us what you're trying to achieve here. Yeah, James, this is Farnham Whitebine, and this is quite unique. This was a hop that was grown here for a long, long time and has almost disappeared. Have a look at that. You can see the yellow. Uh, it looks like pollen. It's actually an oil. And if you rub it in your hands, I'll rub it and just smell that. It's the most wonderful aroma. It's amazing. That's what we put in the beer, and, and it really makes a difference. So as well as bringing back a heritage variety, what other advantages are there for you growing it so close to the brewery? Well, I think that's the very fact. It's so close to the brewery, it just emphasises that it's local. It also reduces the food miles because <laughs> it's about 100 yards. And it's about creating something unique. We're the only people growing Farnham and White Vine actually in the world now. And it's something your customers no doubt appreciate. I hope so. Well, there's various celebrations going on here at the brewery and in this hop field as the crop is harvested in the next few weeks. Laura, back to you. James, thank you very much.